sometimes there is a situation when you don't have access to your computer, but you do have some time and mood to start a new track. It can happen if you're traveling, repairing your computer, or simply can't get yourself out of a hammock. If you're using iPhone or iPad, there is a great solution, the Note app by Ableton. Let's see how it works. Once I've opened the app and created a new set, I see this screen full of squares. Each square can turn into a clip, just as in Ableton's session view. First thing I do is I tap this little note button at the top right of the screen and set the BPM I want. Let's go with 140. And then I turn on the metronome. I tap the first square and choose the drum rack to start with. Then I press the play button and record the beat. Then I tap create clip and quantize. To add one more snare, I just hit it on top and tap add. To adjust the velocity of the kick, I tap on it and here comes the editing screen with the velocity tab, where I slide it to the desired amount. Now I can turn the metronome off. Next, I want to record hats using the repeat mode. 116 grid works great here. Oh, now I feel like I need to quantize the snare. Here we go. Okay, now let's add some triplets into my hat pattern. and adjust the velocity so it sounds more groovy. To adjust the volume of the selected sample, I tap the sound wave icon and drag the waveform down. Let's add the second clip. I train a little bit first. And adjust the parameters of the sound. After recording the bass, I want to add some effect to it. I go to FX1 tab, there's a delay initially, but I want to change it for something different. I will use the saturator and set the parameters for this effect. Now let's get back to the clip view and add the next sound. Initially, there is a sampler, and you can actually add any audio sample here. But this time, I will just use a preset again. see only three rows of clips, but you can add more. Simply drag the screen to the right and press this plus button. Let's add another sound. I want some rhythmic synth. good to me, but I also want to add some effect to it. It's actually very easy to record an automation. When you turn the knob, you can see the dotted line appearing on top of the knobs. If you tap add button straight away, it becomes the automation lane. 
The dot that appears next to the knob means that there is an automation there. Let's add the next sound. We need some effects. I can find something suitable within special effects. I choose the preset and then tap Done. I can set the length of a clip before recording. I tap the plus here and set it to 4 bars. Not forgetting to quantize. I still need more instruments. Let's add it. Damn, that sounds like a stew pot. I love it. If I want to change the length of the existing clip, I can duplicate bars like this. I've added the effect on it the same way as before. Now let's get back to the clip view and work on the arrangement. I select the whole scene and duplicate it a couple of times, then I can delete some clips where I don't need them. After that I'm editing separate clips. For instance, I want to remove hats at the start of the track. There is also a way to duplicate the length of a clip really fast. I'm just sliding here from left to right. Let's add some automation here. I would also record another variation of the effects. To do so, I'm pressing an empty square on my effects track and recording the new clip. After that, I made it longer by duplicating bars as I showed before and adjusted the parameters of the sound. Now just removing some notes from the bass for another variation of it. Then making some more manipulations with the clips and synths. Adding a ride to my drum section. Adjusting the velocity of freshly added rides. Now, if I want to adjust the mix, I press this little mixer icon and here I can change the levels by simply sliding here. There are also solo and mute buttons in case you need them. So when my track dropped is ready, I tap the note icon at the top right corner and press Export Audio. Then I select the format and tap Export. Now I have a preview of my track here.
My favorite thing about this app is that I can simply transfer my project to Ableton Live, where I can finish this draft and turn it into a complete track. To open this project in Live, I need to sync both the app and the Live with Ableton Cloud, and then tap these three dots next to my set and upload it there. Next time I open my Ableton Live, I will find this project in the cloud directory of its browser. Okay, now I really should get my ass out of the hammock and get some work done at the studio. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will be happy to see your likes and subscriptions. Bye!